And now we learn the Kedusha Slebi over here. Tava Elma Marachazal, Mitzvot Chanukah, Mishitishka Chama, Ad Shetich Lechagim Menashuk, Vegam Al Kri Hashem Chanukah. Also on the name Chanukah. Da. There's three types of miracles that Hashem makes. Yes, Nisim Nistarim. Yes, Nisim Nigm. So there's hidden miracles and revealed miracles. And Nisim Niglim is like we had in Mitzrayim, Dam, Tzfardei, Akini, Merov, Dev, Roshchin, Barad. Ten Makas, those are open miracles. Kiyas Yamsov, Shina Atvayim, Ra'u, Akol Ra'u, Be'elo Anisim. And it's Nisim Nistarim, like the names of Mordechai and Esther. First they thought it was a natural, that Achashverosh just politically picked Haman. Politics, things happen. Then he loved, then he killed his wife. He liked Esther, he liked his friend. It was a shaky king, the Gemara says, Achashverosh, Melech, Afachfachaya. The like, wishy-washy king. So we think, okay, it's a miracle, it's hidden. We got Manessa Niska, Bala Nisim, Shemasa, Barabi, Bad Meatim, Dem Torim. Nes Nista, Shem Derech Melchama, Vegam Masi Yudis, Ek Tzaz Betim. Now there's hidden miracles. <coughs> that there's some war, or some, like by Yehudis, we see that there was some conspiracy, there was some action from the Yavanim, from the, yeah. Ek Tzaz Betim, I'm not by Emes, Nasa Nisim, Veloi Tivis. That's what the Maharal writes. Nes Chanukah wasn't an absolute uh, show of Hashem's anhaga that canceled the nature. Sometimes that Hashem shows his, his anhaga and that anhaga cancels the nature like Pesach. Sometimes he doesn't. Right. It, was, it wasn't like it was water that lasted eight days. It was oil, it could have been it one day. Natural. There was a war, it wasn't like there was no war. It was rocks and fall from the heavens. And in, in Marcus would try and rocks fell from the heavens. The fact that a couple people... The what? The fact that only a few people... Don't forget, there was still a shtadlus. There was still a shtadlus. Therefore, it's a combination. The Naga of Hashem, the nest is a nest nest. That's the difference the Magid. It means to the Magid that a nes nis nigla, like a Mitzrayim, nikra yoyim. When Hashem does a miracle, like a Mitzrayim, where, the, where he shows his real malchus and that cancels out the teva, that type of anhaga is called yoyim, day. Shemeir yoyim. A nes nis 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 also, the hidden miracles are divided into two categories. Hashem was orchestrating everything, he was calling all the shots. עד שהפר רצה את המען הרשע, והשיב את מול הברוי שלו, והציל אותנו בקו כל העריצים. והתחתונים לא יעשו כלום, שום פעולה. The Lord wants to do anything. And even the fact that Esther invited Haman, the Gemara says in Megillah, the reason Esther invited Haman is that the Jews should give up on Esther, and they shouldn't say, oh, we have a connection, and you know, we have a Jewish, the queen is Jewish. So, man, she's, she's hanging out with Haman. Now we're really lost. Now we really need to dive in. That's what she was trying to push them to the wall so they could really dive in, not rely on their connections in the castle, in the palace. <laughs> but he says over here that in Hanukkah, there was a war declared by the lower ones. They, they declared a war. Obviously, it was a proportional. Hashem gave them a tremendous Yeshua, but there was something that came from the lower ones. Nimza, and Shlosh Amadregas Nes, Yitzias Mitzrayim, Rishon Atzvayim. One is Yitzias Mitzrayim. That's Yoyim. That Nes Gadol. The Katan Mitzrayim of Purim, Shabbatibis Ktsas Nes Nista, Onikra Laila. And then less than the time is Purim. 
which was already a, a Lila nest, it's a hidden nest. And then Chanukah is on the lower level of Purim. Because it's also a nest nester. <clears throat> it's also a hidden miracle. And there was also involvement from the lower ones. Okay, so this is the division. One is an absolute revealed miracle. It's like day where Hashem comes into nature and blows everything out. One is a miracle at night. So we're looking at it like the miracle of, of Purim because there wasn't, nature wasn't canceled. And then there's a, there's a lower level miracle where, where human beings behaved in a natural way and there was a miracle. So it's also dark and also there was involvement of the lower ones. What is that lower? Should that be higher? That's what we said, let's see. Achen achar Rosh Kippur v'shmini atzeres. Dele'el. One second. That's why it's Chanukah Purim Pesach. That's the order, because you go up in Kedusha. So if we start up with the miracle of Chanukah, that we don't see such a miraculous intervention of Hashem, because there was involvement from the lower ones, and it was a hidden miracle. You come to Purim, Purim was a miracle. <coughs> it's a hidden miracle. Huh? They came back, yeah, it was before building the second Mesa Mikdash. Okay. This Ramban is a Yesoid, Yesoid, Yesoid Ramban. This is a Ramban that everyone should know. You have to know this Ramban by heart. Very, very deep Ramban at the end of Parsha's boy, where he explains the reason of Tefillin, and then he goes to explain a general reason about why we do mitzvahs in general, and what's davening, and what's life. It just goes on, Ramban, Kodesh Kodesh. Also, then the Parsh Veira, it's also in Lech Lecha. It says, Nisim Nistarim and Nisim Niglim. The Ramban has a constant, a constant line that he shows us through the Torah of Hashem constantly doing revealed miracles and hidden miracles. If a person doesn't believe in Nisim Nistarim, as I'm sure the Shekach wa Hergel, Shabayom Eir Chama, but Layla Meir Levana. If a person just thinks everything is natural, the sun rises on the east, sets in the west. A person that works a lot becomes rich. A person that travels far will make it. A person goes to a good doctor, they'll be healthy. And he thinks this is how it is, this is how nature is. But when he hears the stories of Hanukkah and Purim, or and then he's and then he's notices that he's making a mistake that what he looks seems to be nature is not nature. There's no habit. Like Hashem is, but who am I to rassure him? But who has the kufufim? But who are going to orb nechayshek? Who are you to orb nechayshek? Hashem is, but who are you to chaylim? So there's a level that a person, before they see the miracles, they're seeing nature. So this is how the Yitzhahara, this is the Maise Baal Dabar, this is how this, the, the person can forget about Hashem, where he falls into the comfortable sleep of nature. Nature is so comfortable, it's so repetitive, it could put you to sleep forever. But when Hashem does miracles in the world, then he sees there's no such thing, there's no such thing as habit and nature in the world. <coughs> and when a person... 
So he said the nisim and the are like night, like right you said. So on Pesach, when we eat the matzah, the action of eating the matzah awakens the thought. And the thought gets crystallized and pure. You start believing in Hashem more. Your belief in Hashem could be shaky. Comes Pesach, you eat matzah, the eating awakens your emunah. This is what he brings you. So when we do these actions, it awakens the machshava. When it says that means the marketplace, the public area, that's the place that Hashem allows for the chitzayim for all the, the world of multiplicity to exist in. That's called the shuk. The mitzvah of Chanukah Chan- Chan- is from the sun, when the sun goes down. That means when, there's hidden, when the miracles are hidden. Because we said the hidden miracles is symbolized by the night. That means what should you be thinking about and meditating about when you're lighting the Nair of Hanukkah, when you're trying to bring into your world the light of miracles, you're, you're, we're stuck in believing in nature. Now we want to we want to we want to awaken the Muna. We do this mitzvah. So we said so the mitzvah Mishatishka What? But it's Tichle Rege Minashuk. I want this mitzvah to cause the effect of removing the regel from the shuk. What does this mean? Shetichale Machshavatecha Shaila Misnaig Al Pihergel. Regel is reg, hergel. Regel means habit. We want to get out of hergel. With that, your mind should be able to, to not be fooled that the world is behaving by hergel, by nature. When we light Ner Chanukah, we're asking Hashem, we want to burn this thought. We want to remove the thinking that of the shuk. Shuk is chitzayinim, the yitzahara that gets us to think that everything is just regal. That the world is just nature. Everything is nature. There's no, no miracles. It is what it is. That lighting the Hanukkah removes the regal from the shuk. Ah, Bueller. You should know. When a person does a mitzvah that removes from him machshavot raot, the negative thoughts, the bad thinking. When a person does a mitzvah that awakens the inside, even though it's a tnuah chitzainis, even though a person eats matzah or a person is lighting Hanukkah candles. But why am I lighting this Hanukkah candle? This is a candle that, that's, <clears throat> that's here to remind us that there's no such thing as Teva. So when I light this candle, it actually brings <coughs> So then when a person lights candle, The worst, worst thought is when a person thinks that the world is just running by, na- by Hergel, by nature. And that's the Nair Hanukkah, the school to remove that thought. Now he's going to bring on the Ramban that says that for when a person meditates and sees the great miracles of Hashem, from <clears throat> then a person can notice the hidden miracles, because we said there's revealed miracles and hidden miracles. And we're going to see there's a relationship between them. It's not just a stand that sometimes Hashem cancels nature and sometimes He doesn't. There's a reason why some miracles He reveals and some He doesn't. So when I focus on the revealed miracles, from there, this is the foundation and the entire Torah. Listen to these strong words of the Ramban. A person doesn't have any chilek in the Torah of Moshe Rabbeinu. 
Nothing. Do you believe that everything is miracle? Even if it's public or it doesn't make a difference, everything that happens to us, Ashgach Pratis is a tremendous, tremendous Yisoyed in Amuna. שלא אליהם משהו חס ושלום מהרגל, רק אנו מוידים שהוא מלך העולם ועד, ולעד יד ימלוך, והוא המחדש. הוא מביא את הקדוש ברוך הוא, choosing and recreating creation all the time, רק זה מחדש בטובו, בכל יום, תמיד. תמיד. מה סדר השם? וזה מאמין שהניסים נסתרים אינם טבעים, רק שהוא מחדש עשה אליהם תמיד בכל איזה חס Sometimes the Kedosh Baruch Hu chooses to recreate nature the way he said it in the Shesh Mabreshes. Sometimes he wants to do something new. Ganes Nigle, open miracle. Ganes Nigle is not a big thing, but the Nes, the Nisim is storm. That means that when a person meditates on the Nisim Nigling, that's what it means, the... Was it the The Pshat of the Gemara is that a Baal Nes, a person that has many miracles, people have miracles and they're not aware of them. That's the Pshat of the Gemara. But the Abba explains that if you want to be a Baal Nes, if you want to be a person that miracles are constantly happening to you, so ain't balanes makir benisa. Don't recognize any miracles, because if you admit the miracle, that means you admit that the rest of the time was nature. What? What kind of fear is this? There's no miracles because there's no nature because everything's a miracle. Everything is an So if you're shocked by a miracle, that means you're a firm believer in nature. We have to become, bring ourselves to a level where we misbite in the nisim of Hashem, the nisim of Nicholas, and say, wait, if he can make the water blood, then what am I worried about? It's the same God. What am I worried about? So he's not showing himself to me right now. Okay, that's my Tzaras. But is he different? Did he change his mind? Did he change his personality? Did he change his word? Mapitam, he's MS, he's infinite. Ah, the sun rose today in the east. Oh, it's setting in the west. Isn't that natural? That's how Hashem is hiding himself right now. If he wants tomorrow, the sun will rise in the west and set in the east. I've seen the other way sometimes. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, we'll go it's the wrong side of the week. <laughs> okay. When you're lighting, you're supposed to be thinking about the hidden person. So in this Avada right now, we're lighting, we're supposed to be looking at this Oraganos, looking at this light, I'm saying that Oraganos is not just going to look at the candle, what's going to happen to me? When I look at these candles, I'm remembering that that, that's how that Hagah of Hashem is. And if I really, really believe in this now, then I can really go there right now. Then I can really believe that there's no nature right now. And if I can really, really be in that place where I know the truth, then then you're close to the Emmets, you're close to the Metzias. That's the, way, the main, main avoid of davening. Is hakarat anocheach. The main, main avoid of davening is recognizing the presence. Because we're looking at nature, and in Davin, and you look at the, how do we stand to, how do we get the tefillah? Smichas geula the tefillah. The energy that Hashem wants us to be in when we're standing to Davin to when we want to get the dvekus with Him, is He tells us first collectively meditate on Kriyas Yamsuf. You notice that we do this in Davin? We have Az Yashir, which is a tremendous, Kriyas Yamsuf takes up a lot, a lot of our schedule in Davin. We have it in Az Yashir. But then we have Kriyash, then we have Brachas Kriyashma. What do we do right before, between Kriyashma and Shmon Esrik? We're focusing only on that time, that period, where we're standing in front of the ocean, that Kriyash Yamsu, we sang to that period. Meaning focusing on that, being in that mindset, 
brings me to the place that I have to be in in order to get my davening answered. Because if I mamish get to a place of emuna, that I really, like I'm standing in front of the ocean, and I really get to that place of emuna, and I really, really believe it, so then I'll daven. Then I'll go to the creator and say, hey, there's no nature, you're creating everything. The same way you were good then, the same way you did kindness to then. Continue your flow of kindness into, the, into our world. We're, we're your creation. We need you. We want you. We miss you. Why not? If you're, if you're standing in that place, that's the Indian of Smichas Gula Latfila. So at night, by Myrib, right before Myrib, we get to Myrib. How do we, do we stand to Daven by Hashem? Only, the Gemara says, Ein omdim nitpalet, ele mitoch simcha shul mitzvah. The energy, the, what's the whole thought that I'm having, do Yishman so the energy that I'm feeling is simcha shul mitzvah. I am so happy and delighted and grateful and thankful that I have the schus to stand and to, 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 to connect my heart to its creator, Avayil Shabalev. And that Hashem wants this. He wants physical, material creation, a basar vadam with issues, with problems, to stand in front of him and to seek his connection and to say, we don't believe in nature. We believe that you create everything. Even though nature shows this, we don't care what nature shows us. You're the king, you're the melech. Shine your light like you shine all those years, like you shine to all those tzaddikim, like to Elisha and to Eliyahu and to Moshe and to everyone. What, why not? Bring the same light into our world. We need you, we want you, we miss you. Look at the tefillah of the Archaim HaKadosh. How much davens to Hashem, kasha aleinu peredatcha. How much we miss you, it's so hard for us to be away from you. When a person, so when a person builds up a muna, geula, what does it mean? Azal shibchu ahuvim, we were deemed. What was our state in Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim? Any better than it is today? Ma'avitam, ma'avitam zara. The angels were standing and said, told God, why are you splitting the ocean for these guys and killing these guys? The same thing. They're all idol worshippers. Hashem said, nah. that's the state that they were at. He says, no, 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 you don't know. You, you see from the outside. Inside, they're feeling the love. They're feeling the connection. They're feeling it. it before we dive in, we have to connect to that feeling. That a feeling of ge'ula, that we are redeemed. Hashem redeemed us. Our nation is forever, forever redeemed. As a collective, as an individual. And when I know that I have a redeemer and that everything is miracles and that there's no nature, then I go talk to him. Then you go talk to him. Stay from that place when it's hot, then you could dive in. <laughs> we want to light the light of Hanukkah. It doesn't mean to light this candle. I want to light that consciousness, that awareness, that metzius of Hanukkah. That there's no nature. That there's a creator that's creating everything. Look at, look at Greek. Look at the whole Greece, the whole Chachma of Teva, of Yavan, is nature. Of nature. You'll do this, your body, this. The whole Chachma is the Chava, Chachma of Teva. He goes on over here with the Ramban. This Ramban is so strong. The Kavana is called a mitzvah, Shinamin Belohenu, and Odea Lav Shubran. All the Kavana of all the mitzvahs is to get us to Emuna and to relationship with Hashem and to realize that we are His creation. This is the purpose of all creation. We don't have any other purpose in the first place. We don't have any other purpose in the first place. The higher one has no, no intention or no pleasure from the lower ones. And there's no other direct, there's no other kavana besides for this. That a person should admit to his creator and say, you are my creator. This is so deep, these words. It's so, it seems so simple. The purpose of creation is for creation to know I am creation. Why? Because if not, you think you're a creator. 
You with me? Well, that was the point. If you think you're creator, then you're serving idols. Right. You're not an emiss. You're created as a creator to realize your creation. Think about this if you're like, think about like an AI, right? Like everybody's worried is that the AI just takes control. But imagine God creates like an AI and he's like, the whole point is you as the artificial intelligence realize that you're, you're, you're AI. created. That you cannot do anything, you should not do anything by yourself. You got to look for instructions from above. That's, really, that's, that's Mamish the whole Takhlas. Because, because if you look at a person... The program recognizes in the matrix. If you look at a person, a person has two faces. He has what's under him and what's over him. You to your kids, you to your grandkids, you to your this, your own self, you're the creator. You create your kids. Let's say a person has people under him in a job and whatever it is, they're your employees, whatever it is, they're under you. Slaves, whatever it is, under you. So you could think you're something. You could think you're at the top of some pyramid. But don't you need to go to the bathroom, my friend? Don't you breathe? Aren't you breathing? Aren't you realizing that you're receiving, you're just another creation? Weren't you a baby two minutes ago? You understand? So it's very deep that Hashem says, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you B'Tselem Elohim. I'm gonna make you like a God. But only one, the only way you could be a God is if you admit that you're not God. Because if you think, if you, because you could say you're a God and everyone will believe you. When Adam Rishon was created, the whole world back creation came to bow down to him. They thought he was God. And he said, no, 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 no. Let's, let's go to God. That's the whole point of man. Is that man is created as a God. But if man falls into that sheker and takes that, then he can't exist because it's not true. You're not a guy. That's, that's how it is. So this is the kavana of davening. The kavana of the kavana of the kavana of the knesset. This is why there's shuls. We're in beautiful shuls today. Amazing shuls of Shammai and, and Rav Shemim, unbelievable shuls. Today people build a shul. Back then to build a shul wasn't a shigar job. So the pillars, it was like the, whole, the whole town, the whole village had to do it for like four years probably to build that shul. Before Bueller's time, they didn't just come with a metal and zap it up. They were building real stuff, man. What? Yeah. Why are there shuls? You should just know that there's these words. <laughs> I think, I don't know if there's a day that goes in my, my life that I don't think of these words. Of this Ramban. I don't know if there is. This Ramban is so essential to understand it. I've learned it so many times to understand these words because it seems to me the most simple thing, but it's not much the tackles of all of life. The purpose of a shul is there should be a, a, a gathering place for humans to gather and admit that they are creation. And they will say, We are your creation. The purpose of all davening of everything is to realize that we are creation. Sure. When we admit and we're excited about Hashem that He's our King, that He's our Creator, so then the Shashu Alemala, the Az Kola Olamot, the Kola Malachim, all the worlds and all the angels, Meleim Sasson, the Simcha and the light of Hashem, the, create, the light of the Creator shines through the worlds. In abundance. So the Gdusha Slavi was a very fiery tzaddik. He said the Gdusha Slavi, the Barditcher, the Holy Rebbe Yitzchak, the Barditcher used to shake the lulav, he used to break like four or five lulav in, like he used to shake the lulav, he used to fly all over the place. He was very fiery. So he says like, Gewalt, when you notice how special you are, like, Wow, you should just feel so so much joy that the only one 
You're the only one that could add any excitement, any godliness in the world. That's the Adam. Givald. He's getting into a whole other thing. Well, maybe we'll do this tomorrow because he's getting into... The Rizal writes is a very interesting kavana that we don't sound like kavanas, but if it's Barcelona, if you we learn it. When a person looks at the ner, at a candle, so ner, how much is ner gematria? 250. This, the Rizal writes, is a yichud of, of six names of Hashem. It's really three yichudim. And today we'll learn a technical, and then tomorrow we'll learn a little bit the premium we'll see what it means to understand these inyanim. But when you look, there's the name of Hashem, Yud Kevavke, it could be unified, it could be Yuchad with other names of Hashem. And when two names are unified, when a person, that means that he's it's combining, it's, it's a Yuchad of, of different Asagas of Hashem into one. It's a very holy avoid that we Yuchudim to unify Hashem from the worlds. The tzaddikim that know how to do Yehudim, I read our rights, the Eisika Yehudim is Shiva time, and the Eisika Yehudim is But it's many, many, many more times holier than learning Torah. It's a way of, of appreciating the unity of Hashem through the Torah, through Pesukim and through meditations, all kinds of inyanah. So when the person is there, so the Kabbalah, when you look at the candles, there's also meditations of Hashem's name to see in the candles. And we're going to see that it's not just to see letters flying in the air. So we'll, today we'll learn the Pshat of it, and tomorrow we'll learn a little bit deeper. So Shem Yud Kevavke is Hashem Etzem. That's the name that testifies to the, the how Hashem, to the revelation of Hashem. This is His name that He wants to be revealed. But Hashem has ten names. Because the right is ten spheres, Hashem reveals ten anhagas, ten inyanam of himself. And there's times where there's a great light of Hashem that shines that is so great that it includes the lower names. Let's say right now I could I could be nice to you and I could be mean to you. But let's say there's like a higher level where like you understand that the niceness and the meanness is all one. We get to that level. There's different names of Hashem Kibbeh in that area. So Shem, the Gner 250 is a combination of three Yichudim. Avaya Rekim, Avaya Admos, and Avaya Eke. Eke, Aleph K, Aleph K, Yud K is the name of Hashem that reveals a certain Bechina, a certain life that Hashem gives. Shem Elohim is also Hashem's name, and it also reveals a certain aspect of Hashem. And... Shem Adnut, Aleph Dalet Nun Yud. Is also, so when you, these three names are unified, together the sum total is 250. So that means that, that this candle is a revelation of three very complete revelations of Hashem. Okay? That's a whole other area that we're going to be looking tomorrow. Wait, we're in here or just Hanukkah? No, near Shabbos also. Hold there. So the Rizal writes, when you come back Friday night, you look at the two candles. Over there, there's different kavanas by the nerves. Because over there, there's two candles. Each nerve is 250. Together, that's 500. There's a different kavan over there. Ner Shabbos is different. Ner Hanukkah is different. Ner Hanukkah is unbelievable kavanas in Ner Hanukkah. Ner Hanukkah, then you have also. Yeah, besides for that, every night is Am Shacha from the gift. The whole Hanukkah is the Am Shacha of Yudgil Amida Sarachman. Adam the names. 13 meters of Hashem, when they're revealed in the world, that makes a Yom Tev. And there is a right, that the, that's another reason why it's called the Regel. Hanukkah is called the Regel because the, the, the 13 meters of Hashem get revealed in that day. And therefore, the first night we have Kavana for the first meter, the second night for the second meter, the third for the third. By the eighth night, you have Kavana for all 13. That's why Zeus Hanukkah is this very, very special. Mm-hmm. And um, on that night, of Han- the last day, day of Hanukkah, there's a very big revelation of the mercy of Hashem in the world. In general, the, all the, you know, to, to bring this down to practical, we don't...
asking Hashem to reveal Himself, to reveal His mercy in the world. No, because on, that's what I'm saying. On Hanukkah is supposed to get to a level that you realize that there's no teva. So you're asking Hashem. That, but Yom Hashem was one of the same way those days. They needed tremendous rachman. They were really, really stuck. There was no, there was no natural way. And you decided to give them this, this Yeshua. And we were ma'aminim and ma'aminim that it's not then. It's vayam ma'ahem bazman azad. This is something that you always do. And we're asking you to bring this Yeshua into our time. That's not right. I don't know why that's not the highest. What? It sounds like the highest. What's the highest? You said the Pesach is the highest. Ah, and then Hanukkah. Yeah, we'll, see, we'll, we'll, we'll flip it around afterwards. It, <clears throat> the more the lower ones do, <coughs> so in a certain sense, it's like as if there's less revelation of the higher one. Because it looks like we did more, but really there's, if, the, if we do things and there's a miracle, it's even more. Like David Amal, David Amal used to chase his enemies and kill them. And he still believed that Hashem did it. Some kings, they said, listen, if I chase them and I kill them, I will I think I did it. I'm just going to chase them, you kill them. Some said, I can't even chase them. I'm just going to go out and make a war. Some said, I can't even chase them. I'm just going to go to sleep. Like our guys, Sham Rav style. I'm going to go to sleep and you kill them. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up in the morning. Boom, boom. You wake up in the afternoon and everyone's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we got the shem. Okay, Bauch Adonai Le'olam. Amen. Amen. Amen.